All right. Um, well, the time is now 6.05. Uh, why don't we get started? Um, maybe we'll first do uh, a quick introduction of the city team. Uh, then I see we have a few of our alders on here if they want to say a couple words and then we'll dive right in. Uh, we want to keep this to about an hour. Um, not really much longer than that. And, uh, you know, that'll start us, start the process going. We hope to have more follow up here coming up in a couple months. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, this is a really exciting project. I think it's one that's long time in the making. Anyway, so let me introduce myself first. I'm Giovanni Zinn. I'm the city engineer for the city of New Haven. Uh, and we're here tonight uh, with my department uh, and also our uh, director of transportation, traffic and parking. Doug, you in here? There you are. Oh, God. Uh, good evening. Sorry, I did not know my camera was covered, but uh, hi, Doug Hausladen, TTMP director. Uh, excited to be here to listen in. Uh, and I'll tap Don Henning. Hi, all. Don Henning, assistant city engineer. Really excited to be here with you all. Um, Chris? Hi, Chris Flanagan, project manager with engineering. Stephen. Uh, uh, Stephen White, uh, project manager with engineering department as well. And Seamus. Hi, I'm Seamus. I also work in the engineering department. And last but not least. Department. Hi, Adam. I just started uh, to about to Adam, I guess. Engineering department. All right. So, um, why don't we uh, go quickly to some of our uh, elected officials? I think um, Alder Edwards, I think you're first up on my list here. I think if I can find you. I thought I just had you. Um, oh, here we go. All right. Should be able to unmute now. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm Alder Edwards. Kim, call me Kim, Ward 19. I am so excited about this meeting because I was so excited to get together with all of you and the other groups of alders and our city departments to start having our discussions that we wanna get across the street safely and we want this improvement. We don't wanna die. We wanna bike, we wanna do it all, but we wanna do it right. And I'm just excited and thank you for being here. And I appreciate the work that you all do. Thank you. All right, next up, we've got Alder Roth. Thanks, Giovanni. Um, I'm Abby, and yeah, I echo what Alder Edwards said. But just thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm excited this is uh, starting. All right, Alder Festa. Hi, everyone. Um, Anna Festa, War 10. I've had many conversations with many of you over the safety of Whitney Avenue in particular. I believe in all safe streets, being a mom of three teenagers, I am looking forward to having some traffic calming, not only on Whitney Avenue, but across the city. We've had way too many pedestrian deaths and too many uh, close um, accidents that uh, probably could be avoided if we could only slow people down. So I look forward to hearing ideas from everyone and look forward to seeing progress on this much needed, long awaited uh, project. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks Giovanni. Thank you. All right, and last but not least, Alder Winter. Thanks, Giovanni. Steve Winter, Alder for the 21st Ward. I am a cyclist, and anyone who has tried to uh, bicycle down the middle of Whitney Avenue knows you're taking your life into your own hands. So I would love to see uh, uh, some, some real bike lanes. Prote protected bike lanes would be awesome, but any kind of bike lane would be a start. Uh, and then, yeah, they know there's some <clears throat> a real desire for traffic calming, uh, slowing the speed of traffic, anything we can do to abate the uh, noise from the hordes of motorcyclists that come through in the warmer months would also be greatly desired. And then there's some pedestrian crossings where there are no ways for pedestrians to signal that they would like to cross the giant chasm that is Whitney Avenue. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm really glad that there's uh, funding uh, to make a, a major overhaul and I hope that we can make the most of it and I'm thankful for everyone to, for getting together tonight. Thank you. All right, thank you all. Thank you to our elected officials. Uh, the mayor was is gonna probably pop in at some point. Um, you know, I know he's very interested in the project and has pushed us to uh, address this and a lot of the other major corridors in the city. Um, we're actually gonna have a bunch of major corridor meetings here coming up uh, over the next month or so. Uh, you guys are first. Uh, just so happened that way in the schedule. And, uh, you know, please forgive uh, us as we're trying to run this as a Zoom meeting. Um, it's our first time doing something quite this big on Zoom as the engineering department. Also, uh, I have four children, so it is very possible you will uh, hear what sounds like a bunch of cats fighting in the background at some point here. So um, with that, uh, we have a short presentation, just talking sort of an overview. And uh, if I can share my screen here. All right. Okay. So we're already we're here. This is Whaley Avenue. Thank you, Google uh, Street View, for a wonderful picture. Um, you know, a little bit about the agenda tonight. We're going to give a short overview of the project. Uh, we have an online comment tool that we built uh, to capture all your comments, uh, sort of tagged to a uh, specific location on the street. Um, if we were in person, we would have these big, long rollout plans that we sitting on tables and you could sit there and draw and mark and write. And we found that to be a really helpful tool. Uh, also walking the street uh, with, with the public is very helpful. Uh, clearly we can't do either of those things right now. So this is our way of trying to replicate that a little bit. Um, and we're gonna break out into smaller sessions. We've got over 50 people here. Uh, last time I checked 55 right now. Um, and I think it's hard to you know, sort of go through everyone one by one and get all your input. So all the city staff will, will be in each of these breakout groups, so really a time to discuss, a time to fill out things in the online comment tool. Um, and then we'll come back uh, to talk about next steps uh, very briefly. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, what we don't have tonight is a, uh, a plan for the street, a fully you know, drawn out plan. We really want to hear your input first. And quite frankly, I think it would be a little pretentious of us to come out here um, and immediately tell you what we think should happen. Um, you guys are the experts in your neighborhood. You know, we might know the, we might be the engineers and, and the traffic people, but you guys are the experts in the neighborhood and we really want to hear from you. All right, so the limits of the project you see here on the right hand side, it's all of Whitney Avenue from the town line uh, down to uh, where Whitney splits um, uh, Temple. Um, we also are very excited to see a few of our Hamden friends here. Uh, we've, we've talked a little bit uh, with Hamden about you know, depending on what we do on this street, possibly trying to extend this as a uh, traffic calm corridor and an active transportation corridor up through Hamden. Um, so it, it's exciting to see some crosstown uh, activity there possibly in the future. So we have a few goals here. I mean, these are goals that are common to all of our complete streets, but they also reflect a lot of the things that we hear and have heard for the past years from both your alders and from many of you directly. Um, improving pedestrian safety is number one. Uh, the, the, the sidewalks, but particularly the crosswalks, getting people across Whitney Avenue uh, safely, um, you know, especially with children and, and, and with, uh, uh, you know, people who uh, may not be able to run across uh, quickly and darting between cars. Um, enhancing walkability, again, uh, you know, especially during a pandemic, we've seen the importance of walking. Um, improving roadway safety and compliance. Uh, you know, not everything can, not all bad behavior can be engineered out. Compliance is important, but we really want to create a road that sends the message of the speed limit right now is 25, um, 25 miles an hour. We want to send the message that the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. It's not 40 miles an hour or whatever people want to drive on, on Whitney Avenue. Uh, you know, active transportation facilities, you saw a bunch of that in chat and bicycles. Uh, people trying different modes to get down, uh, get get to work, get to see their friends, go see their their neighbors, their family. Um, Whitney Avenue is also an important bus corridor, uh, so looking at our bus facilities, improving those. Um, one of the things that you know, to be very blunt, makes this somewhat of a 
of a, a priority as well for us as a city is that uh, there are sections of Whitney Avenue that are in poor condition in terms of pavement. Um, and by not just simply coming back and repaving, but by trying to look at this as a much more holistic project, we're also able to bring in outside funding from the state uh, to do the paving and everything else that, that, that we need to do. Um, so it's certainly uh, the city budget is on everyone's mind as well these days. Um, and, and I think this is a way to uh, address some of the ongoing maintenance concerns, but do so much more and so much other important work. Uh, and finally, drainage. Uh, and there are two, two types of people that care about drainage, people that have drainage problems in front of their house and engineers. So I'm sure there's a few of you out there. I know as engineers, we care a lot about it. Uh, generally speaking, not too many people worry about drainage when it's working, uh, but it is something we're pretty passionate about. All right, so a little bit about the timeline. Uh, we're meeting tonight. Uh, we're leaving our online comment tool open until the 1st of March, or when we remember to close it, probably the 1st of March. Um, April, May is the timeline where we want to take all of your comments um, and suggestions, put it into a concept design, come back to you in a similar format, um, show the design, talk about what we're trying to do here, uh, and, and really get some specific input on the design. Depending on how that goes, we would then finalize the design, get our approvals that might be necessary. There might be some at the local traffic authority, uh, the DOT, because we're using DOT funding, uh, Connecticut Department of Transportation funding. Sorry, I shouldn't use acronyms. Um, they would also have approval as well. And um, the uh, then we look to construction, possibly, uh, you know, I think our target at this point is 2022. You may be asking yourself why there's a bunch of asterisks there. Uh, and that's because there are many things outside of our control that can uh, can uh, drive that timeline. Um, you know, the processes of our funder at the, the state of Connecticut, um, also that is probably contingent on us being able to come to a design uh, relatively soon here in the first half of the year that meets uh, the goals of the neighborhood and that you as our, uh, you know, our, our audience here find to be uh, what you're looking for for your neighborhood. Um, so in terms of the funding, we have uh, one, we already talked about, I think at an East Rock management team meeting, um, $1.2 million in lot SIP. Uh, you know, we heard some feedback from a lot of you after that, and we started to really understand that we may need to expand the scope of what we're trying to do here. So we have another uh, additional request in right now for one and a half million dollars extra. So that'd be a total of 2.7 million. Um, and that'll really help us to look at this as an entire corridor. Uh, we, we don't have the 1.5 million extra in hand right now, but given the, the, the program that it's going into and how the money's allocated, uh, I would suggest there's probably somewhere between a 80 and 90% chance of, of that coming through um, in, in next fiscal year uh, for the state. So uh, we're fairly confident uh, in, in that 2.7 million figure, and that's the budget that we'll be using going forward. All right, so I wanted to talk very briefly about some of the opportunities and constraints that we have on Whitney Avenue. Um, you know, one of the great opportunities is that we already, as we've seen in the chat and your comments, there's a lot of different modes of transportation that are already happening on here. You've got obviously a lot of vehicle traffic. Uh, we have public transit. There's, uh, um, you know, what used to be the J bus, and I forget what the uh, what the route number is now. I apologize, Doug. I should learn that. Um, you know, and, and we, we see also cyclists and, and pedestrians using the, the road heavily. Uh, so really creating a road, you know, we have an opportunity here to have a lot of different users have a better and safer facility. Uh, connecting the two sides of Whitney together, that's probably the biggest comment that, that we've heard consistently, is people wanting the two sides of the road to get connected and have safe passage going across. Um, yeah, one of the things I saw in the chat, I think it was Mr. Pescator talked about prioritizing the neighborhood. Um, very important. You know, this isn't a freeway to downtown. It's a neighborhood. It's your neighborhood street. Um, and I think having a design that shows that uh, is very important. And judging by the 56 people that are here tonight, we have a high level of neighborhood interest. So some of the constraints that we have to deal with as engineers and, and, and understanding constraints is super important for us. Uh, there's a defined right-of-way 
Uh, it is unlikely that we will be able to change the land that we have to work in. So um, that particularly limits things like roundabouts. Um, you know, the, the there isn't a huge, you know, intersections that have very large amounts of land. You know, Crescent and Munson, we finished around uh, roundabout there. Recently, that had a very strange and wide geometry, and we actually were able to take land on two sides because it was city-owned property already. Um, so the right-of-way is pretty well defined. It is relatively wide. Um, however, uh, one of the challenges we have is the trees don't move. We can probably move most other things, although utilities and uh, traffic signals can get extremely expensive to move. Uh, you can't move fully grown mature trees in, in any way that's really practical. Um, and the tree canopy of Whitney Avenue is something that's really special uh, and something that we want to preserve as much as possible as well. Uh, we have limited funding, you know, even with the additional funds that we have, we do have constraints there. Uh, grades are a bit of a limitation, especially on the west side of Whitney Avenue. You, you know, the sidewalk is fairly, uh, you know, is a, a few feet higher than the, the road in spots. Um, you know, engineers love having wide, completely flat roads or, or roads that have a very slight grade to them. That very rarely happens. So this is, uh, you know, one of the constraints that we have to deal with as well. Um, and then finally, there are competing uses. Um, there's travel lanes, there's parking, there's uh, cyclists, there's, you know, possibly bump outs for crossing distances, there's crosswalks, there's a lot of different things going on here. Um, so uh, that's, uh, uh, you know, so, so balancing all those different uses and needs is going to be important in our final design because likely we won't have space to do absolutely everything that uh, is suggested. All right, so a few pictures from New Haven of other traffic calming and other types of um, infrastructure that we've constructed. Uh, one of the projects that's actually, I think, worked very well, uh, and I highly recommend that you guys maybe take a ride down there to take a look at it, uh, is uh, Clinton Avenue. Um, take a, uh, it, it's uh, in Fair Haven. It's got this sort of corridor approach, has various raised intersections, raised crosswalks. Uh, and there we took something that uh, a road that we'd heard from the neighbors was a real speedway. And I think we've done a lot to uh, calm the traffic there. So you see the, the bump out, the bioswale, the uh, rectangular rapid flashing beacons over here, uh, the, the raised table uh, for, for traffic calming, um, the decreased crossing distances. So there's a lot of different techniques that are in that picture. A very different spot is Elm Street downtown. And here you see some uh, a bus uh, box, you know, that's something that again prioritizes public transit there. Uh, and finally, we have a, a two-way protected cycle track uh, down on Long Wharf, uh, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So, um, really quickly, just wanted to talk a little bit about our online comment tool, and then we'll uh, break out into groups in order to, uh, you know, sort of go into a little more detail on the comment tool and also start having these discussions. Uh, because I think in small groups, we'll have more people being able to speak. Uh, and we'll probably spend a good 20 minutes or, or, or a little more in, uh, in, in our small groups. So I am going to stop screen sharing for a moment. I just posted the link to the online tool of oh, so did Doug in the chat so perfect all right and I will bring it up here and just up. I don't know if you're taking questions yet uh hold on uh sure let's uh I I, I think we'd rather save some of our questions maybe for the small groups but we have one so maybe Judy if you would like to ask your question uh I, I think I did that by mistake. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. All right. Did that work? No, that did not work. All right, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Here we go. All right, so this is the, um, the link that you saw in the chat. Uh, to our public input map, uh, you get a nice little uh, uh, welcome screen here. Um, so I'll click through that. 
so this, uh, your, the, the yellow area is the project area and you can submit a comment. We don't have any up there yet. So we'll put a little test here. So you can zoom in either by hitting the plus or the minus or using your scroll wheel. Um, Willow, Willow Street needs a pedestrian signal. Oh, Willow Street. Okay, sorry. Well, I. All right, never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. All right, whatever. All right, so we'll call this. Uh, so we have a set of categories that you can select here that'll help us sort of sort them later. If you're, it doesn't. I mean, it's not a huge problem if you can't find a category that really fits your comment. Um, just pick one, or you can always use other. So I'll do that. I will be super boring and put test as my comment, um, you know, and then uh, I, I'll put my name uh, and uh, my email. Uh, um, and you can put in your information here. I believe, uh, Donna, and shame if you can confirm this, the name, email, and phone actually is only visible to us as city staff. And that's if we want to, if we need to follow up to get a little more detail on your suggestion. Is that accurate? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So you've done that. You've dropped your pin. You report it. Um, other comes up as gray. Um, you can see all the issues um, uh, listed here on the side once they start getting populated. Uh, you can click on a particular dot and it'll bring up that issue. Uh, another good tool is that if you see someone has already commented in the intersection, for example, that you're uh, interested in, you can click on the comment and then add a heart to it and it will uh, it will add your uh, your favorite, your vote to that as well. So um, I don't think there's a whole lot more to this than that, uh, but at this point, um, maybe we can, uh, Dawn, you can bring it, break us out into some groups here. And one uh, thing and quick, again, it, does, it does look like you need to refresh the page in order to see what other people have posted. So just keep Oh, that. God. There we go. Let's see. Yes, all right. So we've got someone else to start it. So feel free, dive in. This is uh, something new, again, we're trying to uh, sort out. Uh, Kai, you have your hand up. Yes, I was wondering about um, from Grove to Trumbull, if that's included, that section of uh, We are not looking at that portion right now because we think it's a relatively different issue. And quite okay. frankly, we probably won't have budget to get all the way down there. Um, so we're trying to really look at the two-way portion. Got it. All right. Okay. So um, with that, uh, Dawn, maybe you can... Uh, yeah, I was just afraid to push open all rooms and have everyone move. I'm not <laughs> sure how this will go, so um, bear with us, but I will open them now. So Giovanni, I just sent you a message. Yeah. I, think, I think room three and four are the ones. All right, how do I get myself into it? Just um, go to the break oh, see on the I bottom see. and join yep. three, I'll join four or whatever.
right, so we're gonna let everyone come back here. All right, I think we're all back or almost all back. Um, I wanna say thank you to everyone um, uh, for, for participating tonight. You know, maybe uh, uh, city staff, cause I, I, you know, we've got a five minutes left here. So maybe city staff, uh, in each of the groups, we can talk about a couple things that we heard. Um, you know, one of the things I heard is, uh, you know, this road really functions as a two lane road right now. Um, and uh, but it's still very wide. It's, it can be confusing at times, um, you know. And there's really uh, also an opportunity to reclaim it as as public space. You know, uh, uh, Max was talking about how this. Uh, you know, you, you can't have a conversation on Whitney Avenue. You can have a conversation on the side streets, but you can't on Whitney Avenue. Uh, and, and that's something that that struck me a lot too. And uh, you know, we talked also a lot about the the need to connect, uh, you know, across and the need to reduce speed. And I think that's also another element. Anyways, anyone else, uh, city folks, uh, what did you hear in your groups? Um, um, I can go. Um, so our group, we talked a lot about having a corridor based approach to traffic calming. Um, some of the key things were uh, wanting protected bike lanes, um, uh, looking at just general traffic calming solutions such as mini roundabouts um, and then in particular better crossings near the parks, schools, churches, and Cold Spring was an intersection that came up a few times. Um, let's see what else do we have. A um, couple of hard to use bus stops so making them a little bit more accessible, um, easier to use. Uh, narrow lanes. I think I might have mentioned that, but we want this to be, um, we as in our breakout group, we want this to be a uh, focus of different uses, New Haven based uses, um, not so much the commuters, the cars traveling through, but the people that live in the area that are using the area. Um, so that multimodal approach. All right. Thanks, Chris. Who's next? I can go next if that's good. Yep. I think we had very similar sentiments within our group. We uh, had discussed definitely removing parking lanes, removing travel lanes, and also um, just making crossings safer for pedestrians, specifically to get to Edgerton Park. Um, we had talked about putting something in the center lane and having vegetation or pedestrian uh, travel through there. Um, I think the primary concern was definitely like traveling at like high speeds of travel for cars and pedestrian and safety. So. Great. Thanks. All right. Who else we got? I can go. All right. Um, so a lot of similar things. Um, we had, uh, you know, people concerned about speed. Um, there was some excitement about uh, potential speed cameras in the future if they're legalized. Um, there was also a discussion of how it feels uh, like uh, totally crazy currently to even try to bike on Whitney, uh, but that if there was a protected lane, uh, that might be something that uh, some of the people in our group would try. Um, there was some discussion of the possibility of a road diet and uh, reducing the number of general purpose lanes. Um, although there were also some concerns about traffic diversion to um, parallel streets. Um, and um, there was also a discussion of uh, marking the bus stops better um, and some questions about costs and um, the logistics of the project. All right. I can go. Um, more, yeah. I second a lot of uh, what's already been mentioned. Some additional thoughts of 
the entrance for, uh, to New Haven from Hamden being a particularly um, hot spot for speeding and kind of unsafe over there. Um, the idea of using chicanes or something like that as traffic calming to make people have to kind of um, swerve their way through the road as being as opposed to being a straightaway and um, you know conducive to speeding. Um, twiddle lanes, two-way turn lanes as a way to maybe um, you know reduce the amount of travel lanes and still get uh, the same kind of performance and allow room for bike lanes. And also um, an idea that a cycle track was not their preferred method of biking and that they liked bike lanes instead. Dave I? Yes, sir. All right, group one talks a lot from the pedestrian experience. Uh, and as mentioned, echoing a lot of what people said, corridor approaches, two-way turn lane, um, pedestrian refuge. A lot was mentioned as well about the inadequate infrastructure for just pedestrian signals. Um, and that was really talked about focusing on, you know, why is Willow just so bad? Um, also, uh, was at the Disability Commission last night who wanted, wanted me to remind, you know, remind the commenters to make sure that we're considering people using wheelchairs and walkers and, and making sure that we're adequately calculating crossing time, you know, the, the, the duration of crosswalk signals to make sure that um, they're accessible and, you know, easier for the elderly. Um, especially with so many mixed use um, uh, environments going on nearby. All right, I think that was everybody. Um, so I, I said we said we'd stay for about an hour. I mean, this is usually where if we're in person, we would kind of you know break up and chat and talk, and I'd wander home at about eight thirty, and my wife would wonder where my one hour meeting went, but. Um, I just have to wander downstairs today, but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, we certainly want to continue the conversation, uh, you know, city staff, we can put some of our contact in, in the chat, um, you know, uh, put our emails. Um, I put my uh, cell phone in too. If you want to call me, if you prefer to talk to me directly, please do. Um, you know, I'll specifically interested in your feedback on the, the meeting format tonight. We're trying this as something new. Hopefully you found it to be useful. Um, the uh, most important thing, I think we heard a lot of consistent things tonight. At least that's what I heard. Um, uh, Doug, I'm sure you'd probably agree with that sentiment. Um, we're going to go back. Uh, Chris and Seamus are the ones that are going to be doing the hard work on the ground of drawing it up. Um, but, you know, a big thanks to our partners at Transportation, Traffic, and Parking will be very important as well for this. Um, and we want to come back to you in the April-May time frame. Uh, with the concept plan here that then uh, you guys can give us some feedback on, we can tweak and get built. Um, you know, that's the most important thing is how do we, well, well, well I mean, many important things. One of the things that really kind of capture and keeps me up at night is how can we get faster from concept to construction? Um, and, and that's a real challenge. I see Rob Rock uh, nodding his uh, head and uh, uh, we finally got all of our letters to, uh, uh, on Edgewood Avenue to uh, uh, award our construction contract for our civil portion and to bid our signal portion, Rob. So you'd be happy to hear that. But, um, you know, we, we certainly want to push this uh, forward as quickly as we can. Uh, again, any, any, um, Gio, feedback, please let us know. Gio, I got a last, uh, not a last word, but um, just uh, update folks. There's going to be, uh, the city's doing a, citywide active transportation uh, plan. And we're gonna have an update for a public engagement process on that. March 24th, March 24th, uh, there's a Facebook event uh, for the March 24th. Uh, Spanish language engagement will be March 31st, March 31st for Spanish language. Um, I'm gonna try and find them on Facebook real fast and plop them in the chat. All right, with that, again, please uh, put more comments in the online tool. Hopefully that'll work out well. Uh, you can email us, you can call us, um, however you want to add some more. Thank you to all of you for coming here tonight and uh, take care.